Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. The Vive Focus is finally here and uh, isn't it beautiful? I will do a uh, unboxing soon. It's going to be an absolute blast. I can't wait to uh, check it out. I will do a uh, full review later on, just so you know. But for now, we are going to uh, have a closer look at the package, the headset, etc. It's going to be really, really interesting. So... What is this Vive Focus all about? Well, that's a good one. So the Focus is a VR headset that is only available in China at the moment. You can buy it for around $600 and in return you will get a standalone HMD that is powered by a Snapdragon 835 chipset and gives you a high resolution 3K AMOLED screen with a 110 degree field of view and a 75 hertz refresh rate. And that sounds uh, pretty pretty awesome to me. Now of course you wonder how I got this Vive Focus in the first place. Well, I sent my brother all the way to China to get one for me because you got two options or you ask a company or a friend to ship one to you or you go there yourself. Both ways is expensive, but it's totally worth it if you got a channel like mine that is all about VR. Also, as you can see, this standalone headset is not in its box anymore. Well, to solve that problem, we will have to go back to the future, hop into a time machine and uh, travel to that moment where I was about to do the unboxing. So yes, let's do this. Let's uh, jump right into the metaverse and uh, have some fun. Of course, let's -a go. Well then, this is it. This is our moment. Ladies and gentlemen, let's unbox the Vive Focus. The excitement is real. First of all, let's take a closer look at the box itself. As you can see, we have the classic Vive logo on the front of the box, but with a small, fresh touch, I would say, because there is a Vive Focus hidden inside the logo. Pretty trippy, I know. I like it, it's nice, but I'm still surprised they didn't went for a headset, because that's usually what people will see when they walk into a store, and then they get a little more curious than seeing this logo. But hey, maybe that's just me. From my personal perspective, I always like to see what I buy, you know, and uh, the Vive Focus is in the logo, I agree, but I don't think people are going to stare at this in a store for five minutes. On the uh, left side, we have an indicator that shows uh, what color you buy. We have a white one and a blue one. I went for the blue one because that's the spirit. And then on this side, it only says content by Vive part. So this is where you will be able to download, buy and uh, play your uh, VR experiences and apps. That's what I think at least. I haven't tried it yet. So I don't know. I haven't really read any reviews on this because I want to have a opinion of my own, if you know what I mean. And then we have the back of the box. And uh, yeah, you can finally see a picture of the uh, HMD itself. This is what people want to see. They want to know what they buy and what the product looks like. And that's why I'm happy they put it on the back at least. We have a little bit of uh, text here. It's all in Chinese. Well, not all of it. There is a little bit of English. We have... Uh, world scale inside out AMOLED and Vive part. That's all I can read. I'm so sorry. My uh, brother's girlfriend is from China, so she would be able to uh, translate this for me. It's uh, nice that they are informing you about what this is and also maybe what's inside of the box. Really handy. And then at the bottom, we have a QR code that might lead to the website of Vive or to the Vive Part store and a bunch of uh, series numbers that might come in handy uh, later on. Blue and uh, black really matches. It's just that they could have gone for a bunch of, of games on the back and maybe a person wearing the HMD itself on the front with the controller. More playful, more consumer friendly for developers, it's fine. You know, developers are not looking for the fun images on the box. They just want to use it to create content. But they might 
have to change this up later on. But that's my opinion, okay? Maybe other people would say, if I go to a store and I see this box, I'm like, hey, I wanna check this out, I'm curious, let me open it and see what's inside. I want to experience it, but yeah. Anyway, let's open up this bad boy because I have been rambling for way too long about the box itself. It's, it's funny, I know. What I did notice is that when you shake the box, it doesn't sound very solid in there. It's like the, the HMD is loose. The VR headset is not strapped into a decent base, but let's find out. I'm going to open it. I'm so curious, I can't wait. You peeps can have a first look. Ta-da! Oh, it's still in a plastic bag. But we do have a blueprint of the Vive Focus with a bit of text. Once again, I don't know what it says, but what I think it says is, welcome to the world of VR and download your apps here by scanning this QR code. I think that uh, should do the trick. <laughs> so, are you ready? Oh, there goes the tape. There goes the tape. Careful, Natey. Whew. Oh, this is intense. Let me get rid of the box so we have some more space. There is a solid, solid base in there, but it's made out of plastic and it has no hooks. So I think that's why this uh, HMD is going all over the place inside the box. Yeah, so... There we go. Now we have some personal space. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I love the smell of new products in the morning. So in the bag, we not only have a Vi Focus, but also a face cushion. And it seems like we will have to attach this later on. Okay, okay, good to know. But first, let's talk about this standalone VR headset. Wow, check this out. Isn't it beautiful? It's fairly big, but hey, what do you expect from a standalone VR headset that does inside out tracking? So as you can see, we have two cameras in front and these cameras will make sure you get inside out tracking. They replace a lighthouse setup. They replace a computer too, because everything happens inside and outside of this HMD. It's wireless, it's standalone, as I said before. So that means that you can sit in a plane, you can sit in a car, you can sit in a bus, you can walk around, you can, uh, ride a bicycle and experience VR wherever you want. Now, don't try to ride or walk outside with this uh, thing on because it's not making use out of a uh, Guardian system as far as I know. So Nati, what you are trying to say here is that you do not need a computer anymore or a lighthouse setup. Well, that's not completely true. This is a mobile VR headset, so the games and experiences you play on there are simple compared to what you can experience on PC. And the tracking on PC is also far more accurate than the inside out tracking of a Focus. But for a first standalone VR headset from HTC, it does get closer to that full VR experience. Just uh, give it a few more years and then we will get there. Right now we still have better tracking with a bunch of lighthouse sensors, but I'm sure that later down the road, we don't need those anymore and everything will just work with inside out tracking. So this is not going to replace your PC setup, but if you are a mobile VR user, then this might be a great upgrade. Who knows, I need to do a full review first before I can tell you if you should buy it or not. We also have a ventilation system here. This will make sure the heat gets blown off the screen because I'm sure that inside this headset, it will get hot after a while, especially if you play around with it for three hours. That's the limit, then you need to charge it up again. But three hours is uh, solid. Anyways, on top we have a uh, power button. This will allow you to turn and turn off the Vive Focus. We have a charging spot for your cable. 
and there is another ventilation system. Now you might wonder what this slot in the middle is. I don't really know yet, but it's not for your SD card that's on the bottom of the headset, but I will have to do some research on this. It's, it's kind of secret, but you can just see how big this headset is from, from this like angle. Honestly, I am not that worried about the uh, comfort level of the Vive Focus. If you look at the design and the, the strap itself, I'm sure it will be able to balance out the HMD, but the front is pretty heavy. So we gotta test it, we gotta uh, try it out and see what happens in the long run. So yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> now let's investigate the bottom of this standalone. As you can see, there is a slider here that allows you to change the lens space. Uh, very nice indeed. And then we have a small slot. It's hard to see. It's really, really small. This is where your micro SD card goes. So that means that you can decide how much uh, storage you want to use. And this is great news. This is good news because it means that you do not need to make use out of an inbuilt storage that might have been restricting in a way. Because then you would have had the problem where you were downloading way too many experiences, apps and games, and then you had to delete a few because you were at the limit of your storage. But with a micro SD slot, you can decide how much you are going to save up. And that's super duper neat indeed. It's just a shame that I didn't get a micro SD for free with this headset. I don't think we get one, but there's more. I need to get closer to the camera to show you this. I hope you will be able to see it. It's uh, right over here in the far left corner. You can uh, plug a jack in there. So that means you can use your own headphones and there is a volume control as well. There is inbuilt audio. So if you want to make use out of that, you can. It's, it's your decision. Let's continue by uh, putting the uh, face cushion onto the Vive Focus. Let's uh, attach it. This is it. This is the cushion itself. It's made out of leather. It's not foam. And that's a big improvement. Natey totally approves. So let's see how easy this is. I hope you can see it. Oh, click, click, done. That took me five to 10 seconds. So let's see how this Vive Focus does in terms of style and comfort. I'm going to uh, use the dial on the back of the strap to adjust it. Oh, we can go far out. If you got a balloon hat, you can still wear it. <laughs> That's good to know. We also have a strap here that we can uh, adjust later on. So uh, let's uh, give it a try, shall we? Okay, this is my first time wearing a Vive Focus. Ooh, it's not really at my, my neck level. I think it needs to go right above the ears. Oh, yeah, I need to readjust this. Let's try. Okay, okay, yeah, much better, much better. Sorry for the struggles on camera here. I can't see much. <laughs> so there you go, there's a dial on the back and you can also use these straps on the sides. How do I look? Let me know in the comments below. I think it kind of looks like I got eyes <laughs> because of the cameras in front of the focus. But uh, yes, I, uh, I like the comfort. This is of course my first try and I'm, I'm not even wearing it for five minutes yet, but it's, it's soft, it's really soft. But let me take it out for now because uh, I, uh, I want to check out the rest of the box because there is more in there. We haven't really uh, shown off on camera yet. So there you go. That's the Vive Focus itself. And uh, my hair is still fine too. So that's also a big plus. Hmm, before I put this headset away, should we try and uh, turn it on and see what happens? Okay, here. Nothing happens. I think we need to charge it. Oh, no, 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 it's on, it's on. 
Ooh. Ow. Oh. Whoa, it's making sounds too. Ooh, there's a Vive logo in there. This is cool. I don't have to charge it. Not yet. Oh. It's hard to see. Oh, I'm getting so curious, but I, I gotta wait. I, I can't dive into the rabbit hole yet. I have to do it when I'm going to do my full review. It's making all kinds of sounds. Very mysterious. It, it's, it's trying to lurk me into the metaphors. I totally forgot to share my opinion on the overall look of the uh, Vi Focus. It's pretty bulky, okay? Let's be honest here. There is so much plastic. But I do like the blue color matching with the black and gray parts of the HMD. It's just that since it is a standalone, this is the smallest they could go for, I think. Plus, for me, it's about what happens inside the headset, not how it looks from the outside. It looks funny and also uh, futuristic. But in a silly way, yeah. It's not bad, but it's also not great. It's just meeting in the middle. It's almost like I'm talking about a painting, but yeah, it is large. There is no way I can deny that. But it does balance it out with the strap. So that problem is solved. It just looks big, but it doesn't feel like that. Yeah. I wanted to put this HMD away and now I'm still talking about it five or ten minutes later. So goodbye standalone. Stay on my desk for now. Back to the box. Very important too. This is uh, the base I was talking about. No hooks. It's, it's not solid enough to keep the Vive Focus in place. They need to work on that. Well, let's start with the boring part. The manual. There it is. It shows you what's inside the box. We have a Vi Focus, a VR controller, batteries, charging cable, etc. It's a uh, USB Type C, just so you know. What features it has. I have been uh, your speaking uh, manual so far. Here's the uh, VR controller. We'll show you uh, soon how to adjust the strap. And it also wants you to connect to Wi-Fi. Yeah, they show the, the menu that you will be able to find inside the matrix. Okay, okay. And there's also a paper here with a code on there. It says gift.vive.cn. So I think this means that you can get a present or maybe a free game experience or something like that. So yeah, this is the last box we uh, are going to open on uh, camera. This is uh, where you will find your charger, controller, etc, etc. Here we have a part of the uh, charger. It's an HTC one, of course. USB-C, batteries, Panasonic cord. I think this is for your uh, controller so you don't lose it, so you don't throw it through the plane or bus. <laughs> Always wear wrist straps. Think about your safety. And then it's time for the big reveal of the controller. Here it is. Ooh. It looks very similar to a uh, Vive controller. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, even the touchpad feels the same. This is a weird experience I'm having. There are even uh, buttons on the side. Maybe this is for the volume or it's for something else. With this controller, you will be able to do a lot. You will be able to draw, you will be able to shoot aliens, you will be able to hover through the menu and much more. Yes, oh, I'm so hyped. Anyway, now it's time for me to uh, uh, jump to the outro and end this video, of course. Let's -a go! Pew, 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 pew. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the unboxing of the Vive Focus. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. If you did, then be sure to slam that like button as always. 
And uh, yes, let me know in the comments below what you would like to know about this standalone HMD. That would be nice. Also, before I officially go, I do need to tell you that you can simply use an app on your phone to translate all the text on the package. Makes it so much easier. I totally forgot about that. I was uh, thinking the old school way. I'm so sorry. Next up are the uh, QR codes. I did a quick check and the one on the inside leads you to Vivepart and the one on the outside of the box goes to a mysterious uh, WeChat link. I will make sure these uh, links are in the description below so you can uh, check them out yourselves as well. And then last but not least, can you buy this Vifocus from a different country? Technically you can. You have two options. The first one is you travel all the way to China to pick one up. That's what we did. It is fairly expensive of course. Or you ask a friend in China or a company that is located there to ship one to you. That's also a possibility, but both of them are a hassle. It can take some time and money too. So it's up to you. Be my guest. If you are a big VR fan, then you want to have this one. I understand. But if you are looking for a standalone HMD, you could also wait until they uh, sell it in other parts of the world. So yes, that's all I can do for you. I will make sure there is a link in the description below to the shop where you can order one. But still, you need a Chinese address. And now it's time for me to sign off. And as I always say, and I see you guys uh, next time. See you in the metaphors and uh, stay tuned for that full review. Yeah. Whew. I'm going to dive deeper into the rabbit hole. Ah, electric blue. Gotta love it. Bye. See ya.